or afternoon or evening or whenever you are watching this but welcome back to my channel um today's gonna be a full day of eating and so i guess i don't really have anything else to say right now i will just take you through my day and show you my meals and kind of walk you through them um i will figure out the nutrition for um each meal the macros and whatnot i haven't been tracking my food um but when I do the full days of eating, I will figure out what the macros are just because I know a lot of you are interested in seeing that. So I will put that up there. Um, and yeah, if there's anything else you guys want to see from me when it comes to my full days of eating, let me know. Or if there's um, something in addition you'd like to see, maybe some recipe tests. I'm not sure if any of you um, ever watch Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. If you don't, you should go find her channel actually I'll link it for you guys down below but um, she's amazing and she does what she calls recipe tests so people send her recipes or she finds them and she tests them for the first time while filming so uh, I think that might be kind of fun I might start doing that um, just because sometimes the first time you make a recipe you're especially vegan recipes if it's something kind of different <laughs> You are just walking through the directions going, what am I doing? <laughs> so um, they might be kind of fun to do on camera. So I might start doing that, but send me recipes, send me anything. I am here for you. So um, without further ado, I will see you when I consume something. So I'll see you guys later. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. I really like light roast coffee, so I'm going to have a cup of breakfast blend, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about creamers. Okay, so creamers. This is my favorite and my go-to. It is a soy milk creamer from Wildwood. Um, Wildwood also makes one of my favorite tofus, which you will see sometime. Um, I like it because there's pretty much no sugar in this um so it's not super sweet it just has that really nice nutty flavor that um soy milk has and gives to coffee so i love this now this one i was excited to try it um i saw it at the store and i said "Ooh, i bet that's good it is not good i'm pretty disappointed um mainly just because you can see it has five grams of sugar where that one only has one this one is so sweet um, it's just way too sweet for me. If you are a sweet coffee person, you might really like this, but if you're not, I would recommend getting a soy milk creamer instead and just, just watching out for the sugars. Maybe if I could find an almond milk creamer that had less sugar, it would be good. Um, but I think I'll probably just stick with my soy milk creamer or black coffee, but it's my two cents on that. I'm telling you guys, you should try that soy milk creamer. It's fantastic. But um, yeah, I'm going to sit here and enjoy my cup of coffee and get through all my freaking emails for the morning. And I will see you guys when I eat something. So before I roll this up, I'm going to put a couple green beans in here because I like some crunch in my wraps or burritos of sorts and I usually put in lettuce but I or kale or spinach but I don't have any here at work. So I'm going to put those in and roll it up and chow down. And I will explain what's all in here in just one second. All right. So. What we have here is um, just a wrap. It's a high fiber tortilla that I just love these tortillas. And what's in here is half of a tofurkey um, spinach pesto sausage that is browned up in a pan. And then, no, it's not real eggs. This is the vegan egg product. This is the first time I'm trying it. Um, and I'm kind of excited. It really does look like eggs it's kind of crazy and then the other thing that is in here um, is a couple roasted cherry tomatoes some jasmine rice that I just cook up and then um, add in a little bit of 
vegan butter to just it just gives it such a good flavor and then um, I tossed in some green beans after I heated it up just to give a little crunch in there I usually stuff in <laughs> as much lettuce spinach or kale as I can to my wraps and I don't have any at work right now so green beans it is um, but yeah looks pretty damn good I'm gonna give it a try that spinach pesto sausage it's so good. It has so much flavor. Um, that's all that I really taste, <laughs> to be honest. The vegan egg doesn't taste like anything. The rice in there. This is just good, frankly. I mean, go get some of those sausages, though, if you've never tried them. And the tomatoes were a good addition in there. This is good. I'm going to eat this. I'll see you guys when I eat next. So here's my next meal. Um, there is some coconut lime jasmine rice under here, some baked tofu, and some green beans that I quickly sauteed. Um, the prep for this whole meal is actually in my last meal prep video, which I will link for you below if you want to know how to make all of this yumminess. Um, I also am taking all my supplements right now. I know it looks like a lot of pills, and that is because I get Garden of Life. Um, vitamins and supplements and so like for example these three here that's my multivitamin the reason that there's three not just one is because their products are made from 100 percent plant and food based things <laughs> there's no like chemicals that make up that pill um which is fantastic same for this this is a plant collagen um, that's really good for your hair and nails and then a probiotic and a vitamin C and a um, flaxseed oil so I usually have their vegan DHA but I ran out so I'm just taking that as a backup but anyways I am going to enjoy this meal um, check out my food prep video because I think you would also really enjoy this I'm just having a little snack right here tiny little meal I have some raw green beans which I love and a little cutie or halo, whatever you call these little oranges. And um, also some vegan jerky, which I think I showed you in my last um, full day of eating. It's by Light Life. Um, I like this stuff's pretty good. Just a little bit of protein um, to go with my veggies and my orange. So, yeah, I don't know. And frankly, I just like the taste. I got it from thrivemarket.com. Um, and I also have some teriyaki that I ordered that I have not tried yet. So, um, yeah, I'm going to snack on this and then get out of work here in just a little bit. Go home, work out, and then figure out what I'm going to make for dinner. Which, of course, I will show you because that's what we're doing today. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. We are having pizza tonight. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually soaking some cashews right now because I'm going to make a sauce with them. Um, I will show that to you and if you'd like a recipe for it, let me know. But I got this garlic and herb pizza dough from Trader Joe's. I got some baby kale to put on there, some cremini mushrooms, some um, organic grape tomatoes, just an organic onion. I'm going to use these spinach pesto um, tofurkey sausages and yeah, that's going to be pretty good. I'll top it with my vegan parmesan and I also got... Um, Daniel wanted some goat cheese, so I think I'm going to put goat cheese on half of it for him. But other than that, it will be 100% vegan. So, yeah. Hi, puppy. Hi, baby. You look so sad with your cone. This little guy got a sore on his foot, and so he needed a cone. But he's still cute. So anyways, once I get this all put together, I will show you what we're looking like. All right, so here's all the toppings that we ended up deciding on. So there's the tofurkey um, spinach pesto sausage that I cut up, some onion, cherry tomatoes, cremini mushrooms, some black olives. This is a bunch of mixed baby kale. And then we also have some roasted red peppers in the fridge. I have the crust kind of par baking before we put sauce on it, which I made a really good cashew kind of cream sauce. 
but we both agreed that it's not right for pizza. We don't know what it would be good on, but it's not, it's not, it's not pizza worthy. So I'm just gonna use a red sauce that I just had in the fridge and I will show you what this looks like when it's all finished. All right, here is what we're looking like. This over here is my section. I put some goat cheese on it for Daniel. Um, they didn't have it at the store we went to to get ingredients, but they do have really good vegan goat cheese by Heidi Ho Organics. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. Daniel's dancing over here being funny. But yeah, so that'll be my section there. And then this rest will be for Daniel tonight and tomorrow for lunch and whatnot. So I'm gonna stick this baby in the oven and enjoy all the smells while it is cooking. So, and I didn't even introduce this guy. This is Mac. Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. Oh, there he goes. Can I have a paw? This is Mac. He's our American Eskimo Corgi mix. And he is just a little Mr. Food Sensitive. Actually, today, we picked up some of this to try out because every single time we think we find a animal protein that he can handle, he gets hot spots terribly. It's one of the reasons he has the cone on because of the sore he got on his foot that originated as a hot spot. So anyways, trying this stuff out, he liked it this morning. Didn't you, sir? I mean, I'm sorry, is he the cutest dog or what? Hey, Fluff. But yeah, I will make a video on um, about him going vegan and seeing how that goes and I'll keep you guys updated because maybe it'll be good information for some of you out there. So here is this beautiful pizza out of the oven and I am just sprinkling on a lot, let's be honest, of vegan parmesan that I make myself. If you would like a recipe video on that, please let me know. I'm happy to make one. It's like literally the easiest thing in the universe. And it makes everything taste absolutely amazing. I don't think we're going to eat anything more. We talked about making some um, cookie butter and ice cream tonight, but it's already 8.30, so I don't know if that's going to happen. So this might be the last thing I eat, which I'm not mad at. Um, I literally, like, I kind of just want to put all of this on the pizza. Is that wrong? I don't feel like that's wrong. I feel like that that is just right. But look how beautiful this thing is. I'm telling you, you guys, you can't beat homemade pizza. So I'm sitting here trying this pizza. This is so good. Again, I said it this morning with my meal. You guys have got to try the spinach pesto um, tofurkey sausages. They are delicious. So I'm going to enjoy this pizza. Probably watch a little bit of TV. Daniel and it's probably going to be it. Do you think you're going to want ice cream after this, honey? It's just so late, yeah. So I think this is probably going to be it. I'm probably going to sign out here. So you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.